looks pretty good to me. Perfect for covering up plants with your mulch. Aloha! I'm really excited. I got this Earthwise brand 15 amp chipper shredder to make mulch from my garden waste, especially like branches, sticks, and so forth. And uh, this is the box for it. Came in. I ordered it from Amazon. Link in the description. As you can see from the box, just a quick overview of what it does. It's from a trusted uh, company that's 125 years in business. So it can mulch leaves and grind sticks, steel blades inside. So some of the leaf mulchers, they actually operate as a weed whacker, meaning that they have nylon cords inside, but this actually has steel blades. Therefore, it can chop down sticks as well, because you cannot chop a stick with a nylon. 16 to 1 mulching ratio. This is electric by the way, that's the cool thing about it, so it does not produce any kind of fumes or anything like that. Chip branches and sticks up to 4.5 centimeters or 1.75 inches in diameter. Overload protection with reset button. 10.5 gallons collection bin with easy access, that's pretty handy. And a two year, two year limited warranty. So that's pretty good. And then let's go look, take a look inside. So. It came in partially disassembled. The assembly was pretty easy. Basically, you would have to attach these wheels on each side. Take a look around. And on this side, so that was pretty easy. My three-year-old daughter actually helped me set it up. Attach this bin right here. This is where the sticks and all that material goes into. Okay. This is easily, if you need to clean it inside, if it gets jammed, it's easily uh, removable. This part is removable. This is removable to get inside there. So it's pretty basic, has two, but two main buttons, off and on. Right now it's not hooked up to electricity. This is the reset button. And so this is what the input um, cable looks like. Okay, and I have it hooked up. I'm going to hook it up to a extension cord going all the way there. Okay, so you want to make sure you're wearing proper safety. All right, and actually it has this bin right here, which is pretty handy, pun intended. So this is where your finished mulch will go into for collection. Instead of just dropping it to the ground, you can drop it to the ground if you want. Obviously take precautions when operating this. Um, you know, got to wear the eyeglass safety, just whatever else. Don't operate it in the rain for obvious re reasons, you know, don't get it wet. So right now it's nice and sunny, so we're going to get it started. I have these all these branches already from a tree, from a ohia tree that actually fell down from a storm, so I did not cut it down. I wouldn't really cut down an ohia tree because they're native to the Hawaiian rainforest. In any case, this one fell down and it's going to give plant life to other plants, okay? So here we go. So we're going to push the green button. Oh, by the way, it comes with a pusher in case something gets needs to be pushed in, kind of like a blender type of thing situation. And we're going to turn it on, pushing the green button. Turn it off using the red button right here. So this is what inside looks like, inside the chute. And then let's open up, check out the finished material. Looks pretty good to me. Perfect for covering up plants with your mulch. So most, most of these were branches from the tree. It's semi-wet, so it can be somewhat moist, but it's a good idea to not overload it with wet stuff because it might clog your blades. So it's a good idea to use 
dry or a combination of dry and moist flat material. So yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it and let's apply it to the plants. Hmm, which plant should we do? I have all these beautiful plants over here that need mulching. So as you can see we did this blue African basil and this Cinco de Mayo chili pepper over here as well as this uh, purple amaranth. So we could probably use a little bit more. Just add it over. Alright. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with this product right here. I've never used the chipper shredder before. I know some of them, a lot of them, most of them used to be uh, gas powered, which I don't like the stinkiness of it. Plus the price of gas has been going up. So this one is electrical and that's pretty cool. No fumes. I like that. Um, and then not dependent on the gas. So yeah, I'll give it a 5 out of 5 stars. Full not to stick your hands or anything weird in there like a metal pipe. You will definitely break it. But as long as you use it for its intended purpose, should be all good. Thanks for tuning in and until next time, aloha.